In this lesson, we're going to add two digit numbers by partitioning. So we have 44 plus 33. Now 44 can be partitioned as 40 plus 4, because if we have 44, then we have four tens, so 40, and four units, so four. And 33 can be partitioned 30 plus 3. If we have 33, then we have three tens, so 30, and three units, so 3. So we want to add 40 plus 4 and 30 plus 3. If we start with the units, we can see that 4 plus 3 is 7, so we have 7 units. And we can write a plus here because we're going to add tens to our units. So now looking at the tens, we can see that we have 4 tens plus 3 tens, or 30 plus 40, or 40 plus 30 I should say. So we have 7 tens altogether, or 70. So now we have 70 plus 7, which we know gives us 77. Now we have 58 plus 31. How can we partition the numbers 58 and 31? Well, 58 is 50 plus 8, because we have 5 tens and 8 units. And 31 is 30 plus 1, because we have 3 tens and 1 unit. So we're going to add our units and then add our tens. So looking at the units, we have 8 plus 1, which is 9. And now we're going to add our tens. We have 5 tens plus 3 tens, or 50 plus 30, which is 8 tens, or 80. So now we have 80 plus 9, which we know gives us 89. Now this question is actually a little bit trickier, and we'll see why it's a bit more difficult in a moment. So first of all, how can we partition 46 and 26? Well, we have 40 add 6, because we have 4 tens and 6 units. And we have 20 add 6, because we have 2 tens and 6 units. So we want to add our units, and then our tens. Now looking at the units, I can see that we have 6 add 6, which is 12. So now we need to add our tens. So looking at the tens, we have 4 tens plus 2 tens, or 40 plus 20 which is 6 tens, or 60. So now we have 60 plus 12. But remember, the number 12 is made up of 1 ten and 2 units. So we can regroup these 12 units into 1 ten and 2 units. So now you can see we have 7 tens, and 2 units, so 60 plus 12 is 72. Now we have 44 plus 18, so we have 40 plus 4, 4 tens, 4 units, and we have 10 plus 8, so 1 ten and 8 units. So let's add, starting with the units. We have 4 plus 8, which is 12. 
And now we can add our tens. So we have 4 tens plus 1 ten, or 40 plus 10, which is 50. So now we have 50 plus 12. But what can we do with these 12 units? Well, we can regroup them into 1 ten and 2 units. So we now have 6 tens and 2 units. 50 plus 12 is 62. Now pause the video and see if you can add 43 and 27 by partitioning like we've been doing. So we have 40 plus 3, 4 tens and 3 units, and we have 20 plus 7, 2 tens and 7 units. And we're going to add these starting with our units. So we have 3 plus 7, which makes 10. And now we can add our tens. So we have 4 tens plus 2 tens, or 40 plus 20, which is 60. Now if we have 10 units, we can have 1 ten. So let's regroup these units into a ten. And you can see that we now have seven tens and no units. So 60 add 10 is 70.